Welcome back, everybody. Interior decorator and stylist Tamara Robbins Griffith joins us with some spooky ideas on how to celebrate from now until the big day while keeping everybody safe and maintaining social distance. Good morning, Tamara. How are you? Good. I'm great. We're just having fun, getting into a spooky mood. You guys are adorable. This looks fantastic. Let's get right to it. Your first thing is time to decorate. This is the yes. time we're here. You know what? We're at home. You might as well go all out this year, make it really fun. And also what I love is, you know, you can have a safe social distance activity actually driving around the neighborhood, looking at people's decorations. So everything I have here is from Party City. And my advice to people would be to go bigger this year, right? So we've got high impact pieces and, you know, a life-size um, coffin. And these are things you can see from the sidewalk or the street. You don't actually have to necessarily walk right up on someone's porch to notice. It looks awesome and it has so much impact, like you said, from that safe distance as opposed to having to creep up and get close. Up next, you say, have fun in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay, so my kids like being in the kitchen with me. We have a blast and making treats is a great way to get them in the mood leading up to the big day, whatever you choose to do on actual Halloween. So there's a couple things. And I also realize for busy parents, they can be intimidated having to bake from scratch. So I have some kind of hacks and shortcuts. So the first project that I love is this creepy Frankenstein brain, and it's actually just made out of popcorn, string licorice, and marshmallows. Oh, wow. So very easy, under 30 minutes, I used a bag of Orville Redenbacher microwave popcorn, Smart. and then we just threw it together. Was that fun to make, the brain? Wow. Yes. They did a great job. And, uh, and that's a great one. You can find the recipe at their website if you want to see exactly how to do it. And then also we made this spooky jack-o'-lantern cake, which is actually just two bundt cakes kind it's of sandwiched cute. together to create that pumpkin shape. Yeah. And again, like I don't usually use cake mixes, but I like Duncan Hines. They reformulated their mixes so it doesn't have any artificial flavors. And this uh, Swiss chocolate's dairy-free. So the secret kind of finishing touch to that was just an ice cream cone upside down for the stem. And that's covered in icing. And I think for us, it's like, we just want to get some time back, have fun. These yeah. guys helped. He did the crumb coat. Like, it was super fun just hanging out in the kitchen doing a family project. Super clever. And likewise, when it comes to when it comes to crafting, it's also like I found this kit at Indigo, and so it's kind of just everything's there contained in a box. So if you're a parent who feels like I don't have time to go out and buy a ton of different craft things, so Noah and I and Amelia helped too, right, with the haunted house? Yeah, it was really fun. It was really fun <laughs> to make, so we made this, but there's more stuff inside that you can also um, experiment with. You don't have to do it exactly as it is on the package. And then I also have, for the day of, I have a scavenger hunt, which is perfect in the rain that I've laminated this so again it's another kind of social distance activity you can do and I think on my street all the neighbors are getting together to plan to have all of these items so again kids can go around fill out the scavenger hunt parents can give them a prize something really fun to do and you know I have dry erase markers for that but obviously you don't have to laminate yours that's just a, I like going the extra extra mile um, and then we also have some a really fun game for the kids to do. Oh, you're tired. Um, I will say with the uh, pumpkin, with the uh, scavenger hunt, another way you can do it is kind of mimicking Easter. So we have this like... You're, they'll walk around the street and check off things that they see. But if you have a toddler or a really little kid, you can do this in your house as well, where you just hide treats around, and it's a treat hunt. And, you know, ultimately I kind of feel like there's so many fun things to do for Halloween. People are feeling like, is Halloween off the table this year? And it's not. No. And I know a lot of different people are going to make make their choice for the day of and whether they trick or treat or not. But there's so many fun ways to celebrate. So the other thing that we did is I made a pumpkin patch out of balloons. So if you guys want to demonstrate how it works, the secret is... Noah, you can go around, and Amelia, you can go with Noah. Show how it works. There's pumpkins made out of Get balloons to it, with, tied together with green Boom. string. Show it who's oh boss. Oh, my God. <laughs> and they have, <laughs> they have, you're supposed to stomp on them. That's but awesome. I guess you can oh, I love it. They're having so much <laughs> fun. Got, Halloween is safe. They, thanks to Tamara and her yes. kids. Wow, that is a grim reaper <laughs> for pumpkins right there. <laughs> yeah, right? 
That's Let awesome. Her do one. No, and yes, the oh scavenger God. haunt. How yes. great is that? And it's wonderful. Thank you so much, Tamara. Love to you and your little ghosts and goblins. Have fun in the okay. backyard. Halloween Thanks, is officially nice saved. You. There you go. Oh great ideas. We'll be back with more VT. <laughs> All right, Peter, those balloons. More VT right after this. <laughs> we just woke up the neighbors.